Hello YouTube, my name is Nintendo, and welcome to the next deck showcase. Today we're looking at green uh, evidence, green machines. So uh, I've had a lot of fun with this. So um, this is probably the next step, next stage of the machines um, and seeing where they go from here. Because the machines uh, synergy was really cool. And thanks to Tisa and the Thirsty Games, um, I was able to sort of get, you know, this working thirsty really sort of got the machines rolling um i don't know if it has been fully synergized i mean there are definitely you could definitely do some upgrades i think tisa did have another version of this deck already that i for, have not put together uh but this version of the machines is fun um i was using this during the uh wcs qualifiers so my matches that i'll showcase at the end of this video were generally there so i'm probably I mean, my commentary is going to be pretty quiet because i was kind of just really focusing on the matches so apologies for that but uh, i'll go over the machines i know that there has been some already changes in another version that tisa class has but i don't have that version um so unfortunately i'm just going to show this version here but uh definitely this was fun uh the recent edition i know with this one was mainly thirsty games uh, and I got his, and we have suggested adding Ace Attorney because I think almost any green deck should run Ace Attorney Phoenix because it's just a, such a really powerful legendary. But nonetheless, let's go into the deck itself. So, uh, what do we got here? We have, uh, so you got your wall jumps, which are common in almost any green deck to pop shields because it's machines, you know, it is a Kikosho deck. We do run a lot of shields. Uh, shield synergy is always a good thing. Uh, inquiry whereabouts. So this is where you give a friendly unit attacking, collect three piece evidence. So if you get a good setup going and they don't really stop the unit that has uh, inquiry whereabouts on them, you can rack up a decent chunk of um, evidence. And so you can easily pop off with the uh, cards that require evidence. So uh, inquiry whereabouts is extremely good for that. Uh, what else we got here? Disarms, you know, just the standard stuff because you seal everything. That's what green does. Dull's Memories uh, is another great choice, you know, either minus four or fully power up a unit. So that's always good to do. Um, we, I don't need to go much in Dull's Memories. It's just common things about Dull's now. Uh, Seven Soaring Spirits because it is a really good card to basically get the heals off. I mean, this is technically better in a Yawn deck uh, with the Great Jaggies, but... Um, you can definitely get some good stuff going off of this. Like, this is still a good card to drop off if you're doing your setups with the machine units. You can just give more HP and um, get some life. So, it's never a bad card to run. Uh, it's always good to get some heals. Uh, Tragic Rampage. Uh, I think I went over this one in our previous machine deck. Like, this is a good two cost to get the plus one, plus one, and shield to a machine unit. I don't think I need to go much in detail over this one to the last one. Just a good solo two cost for that. Iris, again, like I am going over this before in the previous build, so like Iris is good for that as well. We're only running two of her in the deck. So, Ground Scaravage. So, this is where, you know, your this is where the evidence uh, starts coming in. It's really good to have Scaravage and, like, say, one of the mana ramp Iris in the deck to begin with. So, at least you drop Scaravage, you drop Iris, you get your evidence, and you start doing your mana builds, and then slowly will be, you'll be uh, building up the evidence train by dropping more units. And because they're machines, you know, the machines can really synergize with each other. Um, Stimulating Supper, great legendary. I don't, I don't need to go much onto this one. We just, I just, it's just a really good reset for two two and giving um, their unit death gain two MP. So it's just a really good uh, card to just reduce uh, opponent's buffed up unit down. Uh, so the the big one here for this is poor business decision, which is it gives all friendly units plus one plus one. Present three, you give um, an additional shield to all. So really strong, especially with it in a Kokosho deck with with the machine's energy, I find just like, you know, just the building the board and then you throw this on the, uh, and everybody gets a shield and then you throw Kokosho. Like you can definitely get some really good um, survivability on your board. Your, your board presence is just a threat and it's difficult to deal with. Uh, Crescent Grizzly, giving out those buffs, like I said before, combining with all the other machines, it's just like it's like a top-notch unit, so we're always running the machine deck. Um, Ramen for the Road. So this is the uh, one of the... a really good card for green. So it's not completely as busted as... Um, what was it? Uh, Cycle? Legendary? Because it only brings back units. Uh, and then all your units in your deck gain 1 HP. So, you know, you throw this card out mm, during the end of the line of the deck, 
so that you can refresh and then re and then reuse all units again, which is always good. So uh, not gonna lie, Ramen of the Road is really good. We only run one in the deck. I know Yawns probably run two to one depending, so it's just like it, it's just only for the units, and I think that's perfectly fine for just the units. Iris because she is the, our mana control. She's our only mana control unit. So unless they unless they could introduce a new mana control unit that's machine in the next expansion, I'm not sure. Uh, but I guess if you really wanted to, we could potentially try to swap out some other units for the actual mana control, another mana control unit. But um, Iris is our main go for girl for getting mana. Uh, Hoitzel, uh, again, he's just a really good five cost drop that has anti sh anti air shield, and he gives a buff to all machine units. So you know, uh, it's just more shield synergy. The stronger the board, the stronger the better. So now. Ace Attorney Phoenix is where it slightly differs, and I still feel like, you know, we can definitely tweak it. I have to go over what Tisa versions of the machine deck is. I really need to check that one out um, properly, because I know I have it, but I just never got around to building it. So Phoenix on the board, you know, he has a shield. Uh, if you have 10, 10 or less HP, you're protected. You gain 7 evidence immediately. Even if they try to seal Phoenix, they're only getting rid of the shield, so that's not a really big deal. So with uh, Phoenix on the board, you know, you buy your time, and then uh, with Phoenix, brilliant turnabout. And then you are able to summon a full board. Like, I think I would drop, uh, like, I think I had a game where I had Phoenix on, I was able to ramen for the road, and then I was able to go, right, brilliant turnabout, because I brought all my units back, so it mainly pulled a lot of my machines with, that were four costs and all that. Because it brings any unit, so it's great that it just pulls all, any kind of units of the machines, or anything that buffs. And I think I got like Soaring Spirits triggered as well. I got to trigger that, so I got to basically heal up the board, heal my hero, heal my units, and it was just like, great. I had a strong survival ability board. So that's the machine synergy. If I can find the uh, upgraded version of this, um... I think I'll try to quickly do that right now, actually, um, because I know this has been recently updated, and I kind of like the changes to one of them. Okay, I actually got the deck, so I'm going to try to get this quickly built, and then I'll quickly show it in this video, so stay tuned, I'll be back. All right, here we go. So here is the updated change to the machine deck, and another variation. So. I've done one change in here. I'm not sure if it works. So there's Bamboo Pandemonium in here because, you know, he is another grid machine. Yes, he's he's deficient when he's on the field, but, you know, his stats are pretty damn good. He's pretty solid for three costs. And running in X because he does offer the heals, which is a little interesting. This version of the machine deck does not run ramen for the road, so we're not bringing machines back. And Advanced Artifact X, honestly, would be between these three uh, units, you probably could run throw in ramen to the road just to be on the safe side. Um, I think the cycle is always good. Oh, and um, sympathy. All friendly machine units gain shield and anti air. So, you know, uh, just another three costs that you don't need to spend evidence for to guarantee all machine, all your units will gain a shield. So, uh, that also comes in very handy. Uh, but so this is pretty much uh, the difference between those two decks. I think you can be pretty flexible with X, both X's and that bamboo. I was just sort of, uh, I don't know. I was just like, um, let me just throw this in here and just show you like what I, what the deck would look like. So it's very different to the other one. Um, and I believe it performs pretty damn well itself, but I don't have matches with this deck at all. I haven't tried this one out, but I do have it for the other matches. So I'll showcase the other deck that I showed. But anyway, let me know what you guys think uh, for machines, uh, evidence, train, um, and all that stuff. Um, let me know what you think. As always, likes and comments below, guys. Appreciate it as much. Doing what I can to help out. I do remember one of the comments where someone was asking for an infinite Sigma deck. Um, the Infinite Sigma deck was during the Raging Demon times, and that was because the Alf, the um, the Ashfords were kind of stupid. But I think Raging Demon has kind of dropped off since the Ashfords no longer exist. But I'm pretty sure Raging Demon is still out there. It's just I haven't seen it as much as uh, 
since the change is buttoning and you know it might come back into the record. That's what happened before, and then it, it disappeared for a bit, and then it just came back and it just started just wrecking house. So it's just like everyone's sort of doing other things, and then maybe Rage even comes back. For the time being, it's not here yet, but we'll get there eventually. But for now, um, I will see if I have an infinite Sigma deck. To be truthfully honest, I don't know if I can find one. If there, if I, for that one, it's just that I'm not really playing the infinite Sigma train. Um, it's very, very. I think it's too very, very gimmicky. Because uh, I don't think it's amongst the top tier of decks uh, for a black deck, at least. Uh, from the way Black is playing, when I can make it the black deck, I'll, I'll it, go into its specifics on the black deck itself. But I don't think Infinite Sigma is a proper like de uh, a proper black deck. But I'm pretty sure it exists, and I'm pretty sure it's very gimmicky. But uh, hey, maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? But anyway. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll get those matches up for you. Uh, appreciate it. Always take care. Um, we'll see you in the next video, as always. Bye-bye.
Pick is too free. Big is so free. Oh shit, he surrendered! <laughs> I did it. Oh wow, I actually won that.
Nice combo, yeah! I, I was like, okay, let's do object- let's do turnabout? Oh fuck, I still have seven soaring swords. Fuck yeah, let's go. Get that map. Idiot.
Oh, get fucked. You are a piece of crap player. Just like relying on legendaries, relying on Jake's, like this is how some people just get carried, I guess. How do things work. This is how it works. It's just like this is Jake's and Cammy's and shit like that. Like this is how it is. It's just what we have to deal with. Oh my god, man. Fuck some of these players, man. I know for a fact this dude was fucking losing this matchup. You have a seal still? What the fuck? Oh my god, man. Oh my god, why? Fuck some of these players. Who did it to the roster? Oh, oh, oh. Phoenix coming in at the last second. Thank you, Phoenix.